morning, First Love family. I hope you're liking this little <clears throat> entrance into the first chapter of James. It's, um, it's been really fun. But we're going to be moving on into uh, verse 14. And uh, let's do it. Verse 14, chapter 1 of James. <clears throat> but each one is tempted when he is drawn away by his own desires and enticed. Then when desire has conceived, it gives birth to sin, and sin, when it is full grown, brings forth death. You know, we, we read earlier that God doesn't tempt anyone, but and here we see that we're tempted when we are drawn away by our own desires and enticed. So what do we do? Uh, when, when a desire first comes up, we've got to make a decision. We've got to make a decision whether I'm going to feed this like putting kindling on a fire, it's going to rage, right? So we got to decide whether I'm going to feed this or whether I'm going to throw dirt and sand on it and put it out. And, and if we don't put it out, it's going to just continue to smolder. And finally, as it smolders and smolders, it's going to catch a flame. And, and we, dude, we got to run. We got to run when each one is tempted when he's drawn away by his own desires and enticed. Guess what? We have desires. And guess who knows about those desires? The enemy knows about those desires. But God knows about those desires too. And he wants to give you the equipment, the power, the authority over your flesh to be able to say no. No. That's why the Holy Spirit is called a paraclete, a helper. Someone who stands in the gap for us and allows us to have the strength and the power to withstand those temptations. It said, no one's tempted by God. God doesn't tempt anyone. We are tempted by our own desires. And when we feed those desires, they grow. And when they grow, they become looming. And when they become looming, they become irresistible. And when they become irresistible, down we go. Down we go. Then when desire has conceived, it gives birth to sin. Well, there's one thing, sin. But what happens when sin continues to grow? It, 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 it molds over into another area of our life. It takes over another bit of space. It's a real estate taker. Sin is a real estate taker. It grows in its ownership of property. Sin grows in its ownership of property. It starts out with a little back lot, a garage, and pretty soon before you know it, it's a stinking palace. It's a palace of sin. So then when desire has conceived, it gives birth to sin, and sin, when it is full grown, and guess what? It says it brings forth death. When it's full grown, you're done. When you are so saturated with your sin that you can't find the altar of repentance because you lost your road map, you're going to the grave. The spiritual grave, maybe the physical grave. Better yet, don't allow the temptation to grow. Don't allow that seed to flourish into a weed that takes over your garden and kills every good thing in your life. Because it said earlier in this passage, it says, Blessed is the man who endures temptation. For when he has been approved, there's that testing process. you got to go through the vetting. When he has been approved he, will approved, he will receive the crown of life, which the Lord has promised to those who love him. And I said this yesterday. Jesus said, if you love me, you'll keep my commandments. Let's don't fake our love for Jesus. Let's really love him. He says, my commandments aren't burdensome. They're not burdensome. You can do it. The Holy Spirit is there for you. He will pick you up. He will carry you across that bed of coals that threatens to burn your feet off to the knees. He will carry you. That's his job. I love you guys very much. And I think we're going to have a lot of fun going through James together. Let's pray. Heavenly Father, good and mighty God, you are too much. And sometimes we feel like we'll never be enough, but guess what? You say that we are. You say that we are, Lord. You say that we're more than enough because of what you have done, because of who you are making us into. 
because of the great love and the sacrifice that you provided so that we might have eternal life. And we thank you and we praise you. Hold us. Hold us close. In Jesus' name we pray. Amen. I was a dead man walking until you left this dead man walking back to life. This is First Love Church. Welcome home.